Hey guys. So I'm on my way to my camping area, uh, which is right over somewhere over there. There's the entrance to the park. Uh, Onyx, of course, won't shut the hell up. Uh, but I'm going through this bridge. And I just want to show you guys the lake. I don't know how well you guys can see that. I think I'm zooming in. Sorry. There we go. It's a lot better. Oh, that's all the way. That's the national park all the way across, all the way around. There's people fishing right there. Um, so yeah. What do you got there? Good boy. You found something? What'd you find? Wanna show him? Stay. Stay. What's this? No, you stay back. I'm taking you with me. He's coming with us. Okay guys, so hopefully you guys can hear me. There's a little bit of wind. We're in the middle of God knows where. Um, there's a river that goes right there. There's the Y and then it goes that way and then it's coming from this way. Um, I couldn't find the lake, so it's getting late. It's like four o'clock already, but Trust me, and uh, if you're out in the wilderness, it'll get dark uh, a little bit earlier. So, one of the things that I want to talk to you guys about was my bag. Huge and complete utter failure. Um, usually, this is my first time actually taking out the ILB uh, rock pack or a felt pack. Um, Usually I had a Alice pack, um, but just, it's way too heavy. Not the pack itself, but what I'm carrying. It's already tired. Are you tired? Oh, shoot, it's got a rock. Anyways, um, oh yeah, so that would be the sleeping bag. So, okay, the U.S. military sleeping bag has uh, three of them. The the waterproof one and then the two other ones um, and then that up there is the tent um, what I ended up doing with the sleeping bag is I took off the one of the sleeping bags so it would have been the waterproof and then the Gore-Tex one um, but then it's like ah well I mean it's gonna be cold tonight so I'll go ahead and take all three well even with the two it's still way too heavy um, I need to do something about this because it's, I mean, I couldn't walk anymore. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and set up the tent and show you guys a field test review on the Cabela's Lodge Outback tent, 8x8. Okay, uh, before I set this up, um, I wanted to show you guys um, the tent. That's the sleeping bag, that'll be the tent. Um, the tent weighs a little bit more than the sleeping bag, um, but it's, I guess we can make it smaller. Um, that BB bag did not come with the tent. It actually came with the sleeping bag. So this one came, the sleeping bag came with two BB bags, this one and then that one. So I was experimenting. What are you doing? 
Jeez. I was experimenting with this one and see if it'll fit and it does fit. And also on the stakes, which are made out of steel. You can see that. Um, that's a pole, the center pole. And the stakes are somewhere in there. Anyways, um, the stakes actually weigh more than the, uh, the tent. So I need to do something because, I mean, I was walking for about two hours and I'm tired. I mean, my back is killing me. I got a huge migraine where my, the back of my neck was hurting. So I need to do something about the weight. But anyways, I want to show you guys the back or the tent before I set this up. Let's go. He's like, what are you doing? Oh guys, um, I got the fire set up. I got the tent all set up. Um, I don't know where to begin, I'm too tired. Uh, but anyways, it's an 8x8 onyx. Oh, don't get in the water. Get over here. Get here. He's just got dry and now he's going back in the water. Anyways, um, it's an 8x8. Eight eight. Uh, I believe in the center, I think it's like 7 feet or 80 feet. Anyways, um, so you got... Pretty much three lines or stakes on each corner or each side. Um, I'll give you guys a better close up. This right here um, clips, oops, get clips onto that top grommet up there. Um, that's if you don't want any ventilation. Um, this right here, that's the Velcro. Um, there it goes against with the stupid rocks. Um, so this is just make sure I get uh, to get some ventilation in there, which I'll go ahead and leave it leave it open. Um, let's see. So that's that. Um, Give you guys a better look of what it's made out of. Shit, and let's see. No, that's not it. There we go. Bye. Okay, calm down. Um, these are the. Uh, oh my back. I need to do something about that pack because it was way too heavy. So these are the stakes. I think they're made out of steel, not aluminum. Um, I need to, when I get back, I'm gonna see if I can remember to weigh these versus the tent because believe it or not, I believe the stakes themselves alone weigh more than the tent. Uh, let's see what else. Oh yeah. You guys, you have another one of these up here as well. Gonna roll this back. There we go. Okay. And then Velcro versus Velcro, which is right up here. And that just simply leaves it open. Uh, what else? Got two zippers. Make sure my car's not going off. Right. Uh, let's see, two zippers. Uh, the main one should be this one. But you kind of roll it over so you guys can see that. Um, you can roll this one over and then just have the uh, mosquito door thing open for more ventilation. And then 
no well you guys can see that it's just a little thing that goes onto this that's over here um let's see oh from see if i can better get a better look so from there to the middle and then again on the other side from there so there's two zippers that one which goes that way and there's another one right behind that which goes that way so what that does fine what that does is um locks your floor okay so that way uh if you want more ventilation you can unzip the bottom which let me show you like that okay um, that's if you want more ventilation um, usually the reason why I went with this type of tent is because I've done a lot of camping uh, I'll go ahead and pause this because I need to put some water in my fire okay so we got our fire set up the reason why I went with the uh, TP tent is I've done uh, a few camping trips and I've had the uh, Walmart um, cheapo tent and they're okay um, but if you break the the one of the poles um, then you're out of luck um, so with this all I have to worry about is the, it's about the center pole breaking I don't like when you place with the rocks Anyways, all I have to worry about the center pole. Oh, thank you. Um, and then maybe the stakes, but I always I can always make them. Um, and I set up the uh, his wool blanket right there so he can lay on it, and he decides to lay on the dirt. But anyways, um, so that's why I went with the teepee. Uh, also, I wanted something light. I wanted something big. Um, Eventually, what I would like to do um, is set up uh, a what are they call wood stoves or mini stoves inside. Uh, sorry about the camera. This is a one-man show. Onyx, hey, come here. Come inside. Let's go inside. Come. Leave the rock. Get inside. Inside. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. It's a trick. Good boy. 